Hi, this is Brian and today we're going to be talking about your heating and air conditioning system, specifically filters, what to look for, how to change them, and why you need them. So how often should you change your filter? Typically every two to three months, but your filter that you purchase is going to show you more or less when you should change it. Sometimes it's one month and sometimes they last up to three months and there's a couple other variables, but basically two to three months and you want to get the thing changed. So now let's talk about what a filter actually does for your heating and air conditioning system and what it's doing for you and your home. Basically your heating and air conditioning systems pulling air into it, conditioning it, and blowing it out the different vents that are in your home. Now the filter itself acts as a net or a web and it catches all of the larger dust, pollen, hair, and different um, like mites and different particles like that that are in the air and it, it protects your system by not allowing those particles to go through. There's a couple of different types of filters. There's many different types actually, but there are two here. This is a really super basic filter. As you can see, it's almost uh, see-through. Probably not going to protect the system and really not going to catch much. So this would be a last resort. This is a higher quality filter here. As you can see, it, um, it's rated to catch more of the dust, particles, pollen, some smoke, and the different things that are in the air, viruses and what have you, but this is probably a better choice if you were going to choose between one of these. And both of these you can get at any, just about any hardware store. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the installation of the filter. So there's going to be a couple of different types. You're going to either have a furnace in the attic and therefore probably have the, the uh, filter grill on the ceiling or in the wall somewhere or you're going to have a garage or a closet type installation but either way you basically go to the system pull the panel open you're going to want to remove the existing filter be real mindful of the measurements of your existing filter so you get the the correct size because that is super super important you don't want to get one that's too small or too big and you have to cut it to fit you you can get the exact same size the other thing to really watch out for is these arrows the arrows on these filters show you which direction to install the filter so that the airflow is basically traveling in the distance of the arrow and something to just a real quick cheat sheet type item is the arrow is always going to be pointed into the system. So it's never going to be out, pointed out of, the, out of the system. It's always going to be pointed in because the system's pulling air into it. All right, guys, that wraps up this video on heating and air conditioning filters. And look, you get what you pay for, whether it's a $2 filter or a $35 filter. There's many options. You got to do what's right for you and what you feel is best for you. But if you are interested in a HEPA filter or hospital grade type filtration for your home that will actually improve the air quality inside your home along with protect your equipment, then give us a call. The number's below or you can click the link below. Thanks again and we'll see you soon.